Welcome on Thingsboard Online Education Course. If you want to be a Thingsboard Ninja, subscribe this channel and in a short tips you will discover all possibilities of the platform. All Thingsboard dashboards are built with blocks which are represented by digits. All up-to-date widgets are defined in Widget Library section. Each group of these units provides end-user features, e.g. data visualization, remote device control, alarm management, displaying custom HTML content, Regarding functionality, widgets are unbundled and collected by types also. For now, there are 5 widget types. I'll briefly explain each of them below mentioned. Latest values. These widgets designed to display most actual or current value of particular entity attribute or telemetry key. In other words, they visualize current state of chosen entities. Any of gauges, hierarchy and input widgets belong to latest values widgets. These kind of widgets may use entity attributes or time series as data source key. Time series Unlike previous group, these widgets designed to display historical data of particular entity in certain time range. In other words, these widgets visualize telemetry within time window. The time window can be specified on the dashboard level or on the widget level. It can be either real-time to last 7 days or similar, or historical, static time frame with some recently received data. While configuring time window you may specify the range, for example a minute, an hour, a week, aggregation function is represented by average, minimal, maximal and others value based on data frequency. If you choose for example maximum within 1 minute and your device streams 10 messages per minute, the value which is considered maximal among 10 ones to be used as data point. For your convenience, more than one device time series data may be displayed on the same widget of this type. RPCs. These widgets allow to send RPC commands to devices, manipulate and handle visualize response from the entity. RPC widgets are configured by specifying target device as target endpoint for RPC commands. Any control widget, e.g. knob, GPO control, represents this type. Alarm widget. These ones display alerts related to the specified entity in a certain time window. By default, alarm widgets maintain alarms from single entity source, but you may display alerts from multiple devices related to the same asset, which is considered as a parent asset. You may find the configuration of alarm from parent asset in a rule engine e lesson.
There are predefined fields to display, but you may set your own parameters. In our future lessons, we'll disclose such options. Static widget is now represented by HTML card. This unit doesn't use any data source and displays customizable content. For example, updates from a dashboard state, video, or image. All widgets are also grouped into bundles according to the appearance and usage. Currently, there are more than 30 widgets in 10 widget bundles available out of the box. There are system level and tenant level bundles. System level bundles can be managed by a system administrator and are available for use by any tenant in the system. Tenant level bundles can be managed by a tenant administrator and are available for use by a particular tenant and its customers. You can always implement your own widgets. Advanced Development Guide is available on official Thingsboard website and soon to be published on YouTube channel. Stay with us to find best usage of particular widget bundle.